Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I will be speaking about the topic of who I am during my darkest moments or my darkest hours. This is right off the top of my dome because I don't really know what to say, but I just decided to pick a topic and elaborate on that point. And today I picked who am I in my darkest hour. So I'm totally unprepared to even answer this. Uh, I have to be honest with myself right now to stabilize myself, to breathe, to get out of the mind and to communicate to you who I am in my darkest hour. Um, when I think about the darkest times of my life, uh, who I am, or who I think I am, is completely fucking crushed. My self-image is absolutely crushed. My ego is crushed. There's a lot, uh, during those extreme dark times, a lot of, almost, there's no fear of death. Like, I'm, I'm ready to die, because who I thought I was has died, so if I die now, I've already died, so it doesn't matter, it doesn't hurt. If that makes any sense. Uh, then there's a part of me who in my darkest hour when I feel like people are threatening my life or whatever, a part of me becomes in survival mode and I become sort of ready for war, so to speak. Um, even though I'm not that kind of a person I'm not a tough guy, but when people threaten my life or whatever, or appears to be, then I have to do what I have to do to cope. Whether it's stack up on weapons or whatever, I'm talking about a time, a time in my life when I was threatened and I felt like I had to defend myself, I had to either kill or be killed like a form of PTSD um, so my darkest hours I'm really not someone someone to fuck with because um, I, I can go crazy So, in my darkest hours, um, like, when I've been really, really depressed and down, um, my personality becomes very depressed, very hopeless, no self, no, not too much self-worth. But what happens is I start to act in in other words, I start to beat myself up. Um, I'm almost ugly when I'm at my lowest, but also very beautiful because when you're depressed, uh, you appreciate you sometimes appreciate more. Um, Um, at my lowest, uh, I, I don't even, don't even want to talk to people at my lowest, um, I probably hate everyone and want them to die, and I probably don't want any contact for the rest of my life when I'm at my lowest, any human contact that is, I don't want, certainly don't want to be bothered. I become very sensitive and quick, quick to fight almost. But that's really me being wounded. What it, what it really comes down to is, in my darkest hour, I am wounded. I am hopeless. I'm vulnerable. 
and if someone fucks at me, it's it's the end of the world because I'm, I'm just that vulnerable. So I can become, I can pl- I can put on other masks like the asshole mask when I'm really when I'm really down. I could be an asshole. I could be a dick. And who I am changes because my mask even changes at my lowest because normally people see me as a quiet, reserved person, but at my lowest, uh, my thoughts are not really quiet and reserved. They're more like, fuck you and fuck everyone and I hope everyone dies. (laughs) So a lot of hatred comes out, but that's mainly self-hatred which is projected onto other people. It's like, oh, I I start judging myself and then I look at other people like, oh, you think you're perfect. Well, here's this weakness about you or whatever. So again, I hope I'm making this video so I could watch it and reflect on it. And I'm also sharing these videos, being unprepared and totally off guard and uh, kind of wakes me up (laughs) because I'm forced to look at myself and to decide who I want to be. And then sometimes at my lowest, uh, I become a very nice person and become a very compassionate person to other people. Having walked through that hell and not wanting other people to walk through the hell. Again, if I can be in a position to listen to people at their darkest hours, hey, I've I've been through it, so if anyone wants to contact me if they're in their darkest hours, I'll be more than willing to listen to you because uh, I've made it through and made it through multiple times.